Hi you guys, it's Rose. So welcome back curious people. Today I have the much anticipated wear test from me going away, traveling, going to see my parents and seeing how well my nails held up. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's great. So I'm gonna share some details, uh, specific close-ups into my nails. And so just a reminder, I used the OPI gel color with the OPI Pro Health Top and Base Coat. Um, so it's a complete line and it was the UV gel application. And I will also show you how to remove it and if you guys think it was great or not. So I'm just gonna talk about all the good things, bad and ugly. There's definitely some ugly in here to show you guys. It's been two full weeks since I put on the OPI gel color, so it wear it wore pretty well. Um, I would say it was great. It was actually a really big struggle for me to grow my nails out for two full weeks. As you can see, uh, they grew a lot and there's a lot of damage, um, but otherwise it held up really, really nicely. Okay, so this is my extreme wear test. And some background for you, I was traveling and was really tough on my nails, so I also forgot to put on cuticle oil and hand cream at times, so they got super damaged. So I was lifting a lot of heavy bags, groceries, and being careless, handling a lot of equipment. I was swimming, I was fishing, I was sunning on the beach, and really there was also a lot of time that I stayed indoors and I was cooking, cleaning, and doing a lot of dishes. So there was a lot of wear and tear on my hands. Thankfully, not a single nail broke, but I'll show you up close some of the damage that my hand sustained. Um, some initial thoughts. Strangely, there was some color fading, so I'll put a clip of what it first looked like and how much my nails grew, you can really see. Um, but however you can see that the shininess is still there so the top coat did an amazing job and it held up really well the next thing is you can see all of my free edge caps are totally gone you can really see on this one where there's a huge gap now and every single cap is gone even my pinky that i don't use a lot um, especially since I'm right-handed, these three fingers got used the most. So my thumb, there's like a lot of it that wore off at the free edge, my index finger, and my middle finger. On my right hand, sorry, this is my left hand. On my left hand, the wear is more limited to the thumb and the index. So that's good news. And it just really depends on how dominant your hand is usage is so I try really really hard to even out how often I use my left hand since that is my non-dominant hand but I don't want to be so uneven I try really hard to become ambidextrous but you know I am very heavily right-handed so we also start to see a lot of flakes at the free edge so if I bring you guys in close you might be able to see that there's this big chip and if you are like me you might want to start like digging at it and like flaking it off you really don't want to do that this happened on this finger the middle finger of my right hand where you start seeing actual lifting of the natural nail so that's really really bad and you want to avoid picking at it at all costs I know you guys can't really see, but if you see that other layer right here, that's my natural nail that's starting to lift. And on my thumb, you see it especially. That is really flaking off. Uh, you can also see this on my left hand, just not as badly. So here you see on the index finger, uh, this whole entire wall lifted. And it's because this nail bends a lot here. So this is exactly where it lifted and it just happens. Strangely on my thumb, this side started to lift at the free edge because my cap was gone. So it just really depends on how you use your hands and how your nail formation is. 
So the biggest thing is beyond the whole new nail growth, you can really see there is some cuticle chipping, especially on this right hand. So you'll see here, um, I started chipping away at it and you really wanna avoid what I just did because it takes layers off of your natural nail and if you care about your nails, you don't wanna do that, right? So you can also see it here on the index finger, there's a lot of chipping and the last four days I've been like picking at it when I'm like bored or just like watching videos and just this is a really bad habit. So there's lastly this interesting cracking in the polish. I see this a lot when I have my SC Gel Couture that is not real gel but it has this like flexibility in the beginning and then as your nail continues to bend normally it will crack in the polish itself even though your nail is able to flex so um, you can see it when like I turn my finger in a certain light but there's like cracks here and here uh, so it's really interesting that the polish like didn't hold up in that regard but it is highly like impossible to notice on this color polish and so this is also why I chose it right before my vacation and it held up really well. So the good and the ugly and the recap. So the great thing is amazingly after putting my hands through the ringer for two full weeks, they held up and almost all the polish is still there. If it weren't for me picking at it every day for like several hours, I would have a lot more nail polish, right? And the great thing about this color choice of this Princess's Rule, that's the name of the color, it is really not noticeable when you grow out your new nail and you'll still see this beautiful like sheen on it. So it's like subtle and it's great for vacation when you're like on the go and you can't do any touch ups and you're just limited to maybe like a nail file. And the bad, so as I said, I wore this for two full weeks and you really do see a lot of new growth and a little bit flaking. So I'm disappointed that I couldn't get to like the three weeks mark without it flaking so much, but definitely it could have just been my extreme wear and tear on my hands during the past two weeks since I was like out of town and I was doing a lot with my hands and I was not consistent in putting on my like oils and creams and just like taking care of my hands like I should be. So I'm really interested in doing another nail wear test with the OPI gel and um, if you watch my other video on nail growth you will notice that your nails grow more in the summertime so I'm really interested to see when I don't use my hands as much and when it's much colder how does that affect my growth and my wear durability of the nail polish? So that's me. And let me know how you've like wore through your polishes and how often you like to replace it. Let me know in the comments below. Materials you will need to remove gel nail polish. So first you need a 100 or 180 grit nail file to buff the top of your nails. You will need some sort of wrap. I have these silicone wraps and you will of course need uh, cotton balls to hold the uh, pure acetone. And if you don't have a pump bottle, you will need like some sort of glass acetone proof container. And of course, you're going to have to trim your nails and then care for them at the end. So nail clippers, cuticle clippers or nippers, cuticle pusher, and to condition with cuticle oil and hand cream at the end. Not in this picture is obviously the acetone. So some other things you might want is instead of these cute little silicone nail wraps, you get yourself some aluminum foil and you want to trim them into about 12 squares that will fit your nails. Um, 12 because not that you have 12 fingers, but in case you mess up and you rip the aluminum foil and you need to quickly get another piece, you want to already have that piece ready so you're not trying to finagle it while your nails are 
soaking in acetone and it's quickly evaporating and all that stuff. So you want to gather your supplies for removing the nail polish and remember this is gel nail polish so you do want to do this the proper way or you will end up with gel left over when you're trying to apply your nail polish and you could easily damage your nails if you do this the wrong way. So pay attention, take some notes, grab a cup of coffee or a tea or a snack or a cookie and here we go. So supplies you will need is of course your hands that have gel polish on it. So remember this gel and you first will need a 180 or 100 nail file. I'm going to go for the 180 because I like to take things easy on my nails. You will need aluminum foil wraps already cut into little squares like this. And, or you can get these awesome silicone wraps. I like to fold them back halfway so it's easy to put them on um, as you're trying to like move everything around. Of course, you will need 100% or as close to 100% pure acetone. I have the Onyx brand, but there's other brands that sell it. I got this at Walmart. And you will need like 11 or 12 cotton balls. And like I said, I know you don't have 12 fingers, but you're gonna mess up and you're gonna want it ready to go when you mess up. So I peeled like 11. And you just wanna keep an extra one just in case you need it. Um, some people make as many as like 15 just to be sure they get everything off. You might, you, yeah, easily end up needing that much. One cotton ball, I like to split it into four to make four of these. It's just up to you. You can just be more, more luxurious and use half a cotton ball. It's just whatever you prefer, but that's how I like to do it. I rather like start fresh with a new cotton ball and use more than you know, like not getting everything off. Okay, so I'm gonna move everything to the side. And I don't have another nail pump bottle right now, so I'm just gonna use this awesome glass bottle, uh, glass container and pour my acetone in. So I only pour as much as I need. You will wanna lay a towel down so you don't uh, ruin the surface that you're working on. So I have a towel on top of a placemat and then that's the surface that I'm working on. So if I accidentally spill some acetone, it'll be okay and absorbed by this towel. You do want to make sure you use a towel that you don't like super care about or it's like your work towel. So if it discolors, it's not a big deal. You didn't ruin a fancy towel. All right, so first things first is to take your nail file and we're gonna buff the top coat off of each nail. And what this does is it removes the impenetrable top coat. And like I said, that was one of the pros of this gel polish was that the top coat never wore off, it never scratched, and it's still as good as day one. And so you wanna remove it or the acetone will never penetrate and you will never <laughs> remove the gel nail polish. Uh, as I said, you can choose to use the 100 grit, it'll be faster, but it might cause more damage. So I just like to use what's more gentle. It is okay if you go back and forth like this, as long as you make sure you get the uh, evenly the top layer. You don't want to scratch, you know, buff in place very long because you'll end up buffing down to your nail and you won't notice until it's way too late. Um, there is a lot of new growth so you do want to be careful not to buff that because then you'll end up with weak nails. All right, that's one.
All right, my nails are buffed, and now we move on to the acetone. Okay, here are my supplies for the soaking in my acetone. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit, as only what I need, into the glass container. And I'm gonna work really quickly because if you don't, then you won't have any more acetone and you're gonna have to pour some more back out. So you want it really wet, but not like dripping. And place it on top. There was one time I forgot to buff off my nails and of course I didn't know. And then I was trying to, I was like waiting and waiting and I t finally waited five minutes and then I took these off and I was like, that did nothing. Like what is going on? Oh no, so you see your acetone already fully evaporated. So this is the drawback for, to not having a pump bottle. You can also just place several uh, cotton balls so they are soaked. Um, and you really want to keep things capped because if you don't, then you will have no acetone left in your bottle. So when you put on the wrap, it might squeeze a bunch of acetone out and that's fine. Okay, because I used the Pearl Health line of um, top coat and base coat, it will work faster than other top coat and base coats. So it just depends on what you used. And for me, I know that this only takes five minutes with the Pearl Health base coat and top coat. All right, hand, left hand done. Now we just wait five minutes. When you wait, you can buff your other hand while you know, you're waiting for things to happen. Um, you see this like really horrible chip coming up. If you have your fingers wrapped in foil, you might not be able to do this because, you know, it's just much harder. Here's a little trick. If you're having a hard time holding it and filing back and forth with this hand, you can just be moving your right hand and hold the file in place. Um, I switch back and forth between the two. Like I said, I wish I was ambidextrous, but I'm not. And I try really hard to be, but sometimes you just want to get things done without it taking too long all right so this next part it's been four minutes I'm gonna take a peek and see where we're at and if we can push any of the polish off so you're gonna need a cuticle pusher preferably wooden but if you like to live on the edge and possibly rip off some of your natural nail go for the metal I just have the metal because it's a lot easier to disinfect so you do you um, of course, if you don't have any, you can also use a spoon, but do know that a spoon will dissolve in acetone. So just like be aware of that. So we're gonna peel back this index finger that I did second. You do wanna go in the order that you applied because this would have slightly a few seconds longer of soaking than this did since I applied in this order. Okay, so we look it's already done I don't even have to wait anymore so you just want to gently push off and you don't want to scrape really hard because if you scrape really hard like I said you will end up with several layers of your natural nail pushed off so you don't even have to wait five full minutes for this to come off because I'm using the pro health line I cannot guarantee the same wait time for other polishes of course all right this is exciting let's check the other ones you guys see here i had a flake chip up so i'm trying to focus the camera it's really hard to see um so i was worried that i was chipping up my natural nail too and it looks like I didn't other than maybe one flake so that's good and I can move on to the other fingers I know it looks really gross right now but 
I promise once you finish everything, it'll look back to normal. You can go this way, like pushing down towards the free edge, or you can go the other way. Um, doesn't matter really, just as long as you are not pushing with too much force. Because I have done it with a lot of force, and let me tell you, the results were horrifying. I had like so many jagged rips in my nail bed because I pushed too hard trying to scrape off polish that wasn't ready to come off yet. It also helps that I'm using pure acetone, so if you try to do, do this with that diluted nonsense, it's not going to work. You're going to wait forever, and it still won't come off. Because the strength is just not enough. And there you have it. That's how you remove gel nail polish. All right, so I just wanted to show you up close what happened to some of my nails. So here you can see that wherever it did some lift, there is some damage and natural nail missing. This right hand you can see a lot better if I can get the camera under focus. Here where it chipped up, you see that some nail is missing, like layers of nail where I picked at the flake. This, These two nails, you can see significant flake damage, and it's pre pretty bad. So I'm going to have to cut all that off and hope that it doesn't flake anymore. But my cuticle bed looks pretty good. Just needs a light trimming. All right, so overall, I'm really impressed with this set, and OPI did a really great job formulating their base and top coat. This is the Pro Health line, so it is not the same as their regular base and top coat, and I highly recommend it if you are in the market for some gel nails at home, or if you're just at the salon and you're wondering if OPI is gonna do a good job, it definitely does. Let me know in the comment box below what your favorite brand is and what you're using, what kind of lamp you're using and how well it's working out for you. And just a quick recap, um, there is a lot of wear and tear on my nails because I specifically put this on to go on vacation to see my family. So um, it took a big beating and it still held up really nicely. Uh, the great thing about this color specifically is that it is like a nude with a pop of glitter so it's really beautiful and it wears really well so even after two full weeks uh, you can barely tell that there's a lot of flakes and chips and a new growth so I highly recommend this color if you don't have it or if you want to try something out.